Hey guys, it's Mike from Lever Gear. Uh, today I just wanted to go over some of the drawing and drafting tools that we have on the tool card. Um, we've got a few tools here uh, just to demonstrate. This is a circle template, um, a standard protractor, uh, maybe just a, a rule. This one just has inches, um, and even a little eraser shield. Uh, with the tool card, we've got uh, both metric and inch rulers. Um, and as you can see, the, the rulers go the entire length of the card. So you've got three inches on that side and up to eight uh, centimeters on this side. Um, we've got a little protractor, which is right in this uh, can opener or bottle opener area. And it's a, it's a small protractor. It'll get you close. It's not going to be as precise as a full-blown drafting protractor. A lot of people have noticed these uh, 60, 45, 30 degree marks over here, and this is for a speed square. Uh, so I'll show you how we use that. Also, we have these, these circles here, um, and those can be used uh, as, a, as a circle template to, do, uh, to draw different size circles. They're all spaced uh, one centimeter apart, um, and this one's five millimeters apart, so you can do draw circles uh, in increments of uh, five millimeter radius. With the rulers, as I said, they go all the way to the edge. Um, the nice thing about that is, is you can actually measure, you know, from a from a flat surface, uh, or if you're, you know, you have an inside corner that you want to measure, you can go just right up to the corner and measure it that way. So a lot of uh, a lot of tools don't have that feature, uh, but the tool card does. Also, uh, it makes a good a good straight edge if you're trying to, you know. Cut some small stuff like a, with an X-Acto knife, um, so we can we can use this as a straight edge pretty easily. So there you go. So the next tool I want to talk about is the little protractor that's inside the bottle opener. Um, you can see there are zero marks on the sides and 90 degrees right at the top. Um, you can probably see there's a little notch in here and that's your sort of zero center of the protractor. So for instance, if you wanted to find some angles off this line, you would uh, line up your zero marks with a line and you've got your center dot there. And let's say we wanted to do 60 degree angle, put a dot where the 60 degree mark is and then you just connect the dots. That gives you 60 degrees. Each of these tick marks is in five degree increments, so it's, you know, it's not an exact protractor, but it'll get you close, and it's good for measuring um, angles that are already there and estimating. So you would measure, by, again, by just lining up the corner of the angle and put it on zero, getting to your 60 degrees. And then a similar tool uh, would be the, the speed square. Um, I don't have an example of that with me, but um, uh, carpenters use these just to quickly, to quickly kind of get to uh, um, a square. So uh, what you would do is you line up uh, one edge with the edge of your part, um, and then the other edge, sort of uh, this corner down here is your zero for the speed square. And then you can put a dot either at 30, or 45, or even 60, and then um, quickly draw quickly draw each of those angles. And then this, the 60 is a little bit a little bit far, so you have to use your use your eyeball a little to draw that. But anyway, that gives you uh, 30, 45, and 60 degree angles. Um, you know, when carpenters use it, they usually would use it on a piece of wood to mark an angle. So we could just line up this, this bottom edge with the edge of the wood. You know, if that's your, that's your part that you want to draw the angle from, put a dot. And then again, you just, you would just draw to that. You can extend your line a little bit. And that gives you a nice 45 degree angle uh, to make your cut.
So the next tool I want to talk about are these little circles, which can be used to draw um, perfect arcs or circles um, of different, different radiuses. Um, each of these holes is 10 millimeters apart or even 5 millimeters apart, so you can have you basically space out your two pens based on um, the size of the circle you want. So I can, I can put one pen in there, let's say, and I'll use this to draw a full circle right around there. Um, and then we've had uh, a couple people comment that you could use this as an eraser shield, which is sort of an old school uh, tool that architects use. Um, and for the eraser shield, uh, let's say you have, um, let's say you have a couple, you know, some lines that you've drawn, and you want to erase this middle part, but you want to be sure to protect your other lines. You can actually, um, you can actually kind of use the tool card to uh, to protect those other lines as you erase that middle, that middle piece. So. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the drafting tools for the Levergear Tool Card Pro. Uh, again, metric and inch rulers and a bunch of other stuff. Hope you enjoyed it.